Today's custom budget PC is packed into this colorful Gomdius Aura PC case. This case is one of my favorite budget options still due to the good airflow, and it comes pre-installed with four ARGB fans. The front intake has a mesh grill with some added slots on either side and one exhaust fan. Possibly the only downside is that these are SATA powered fans so they all run at one speed. But if you don't mind a little bit of idle white noise, it's really not that big of a deal. The top I.O. in the case features 2 times USB 2.0 and 1 USB 3.0, microphone and headphone jacks, power button, and this button right here controls the color scheme of the case fans. So enough about the case, let's check out the innards of this build. With the tempered glass side panel removed, it's a little easier to see the components inside. First up, underneath this Thermoride Assassin Spirit V2 CPU cooler, there's a Ryzen 5 5500 CPU with 6 cores and 12 threads. Beside that, with the white heat sinks, are 16GB of Timetech Pinnacle Conduit DDR4 3600MHz RAM. Speaking of Timetech, that's a 512GB NVMe solid state drive with Windows 11 Pro installed. And this SSD is running at PCIe 3x4 speeds. Matching the white RAM heat sinks is a white motherboard, in particular the ASRock B550M Pro SE. This motherboard is a nice upgrade from the regular B550M series. And it features some extra heat sinks, RGB and ARGB headers, an extra M.2 port for an SSD, and an extra PCIe lane down here. I know we have a PCIe Gen 3 SSD installed, but it does support PCIe Gen 4. Also supports PCIe Gen 4 speeds on the PCIe lanes. And before we get too far along, this is a Zotac Twin Edge RTX 3060 Ti graphics card with 8GB of GDDR6 memory, which features this glowing logo that adds to the aesthetic of the case. Empowering it all is a Corsair RM750X 750 watt power supply. Onto the rear I.O. the motherboard, we have an HDMI and display port that we can't use with this CPU because there is no integrated graphics offered. Mouse and keyboard PS2 port, USB 2.0 times 2, 4 times USB 3.2 Gen 1, a 2.5 gig Dragonland RJ45 Ethernet port, audio jacks, and the Zotac 3060 Ti features 1 times HDMI 2.1 and 3 times display port 1.4A. There's also a 500GB Seagate 2.5 inch hard drive installed in the back of the case. There is a hard drive tray that can be installed here, but this power supply is pretty long. So it didn't fit, I had to take it out, but there's mounting in the back of the case, so it's not really a big concern. So that about covers all the hardware in this PC. Let's check out the video render and video encoding results. And now we're ready for some DaVinci Resolve video render tests. And I have my usual 11 minutes of raw 1080p footage loaded up with the following settings set for render. Let's see how long it takes. And we finished up in three minutes exactly. So that brings us 21 seconds faster than my last test with a 3600X. And with the next tier up being the 5600X, we are 33 seconds slower. But still three minutes on the dot is decent in my books. Next up is Handbrake, and we have 11 minutes of 1080p gaming footage to encode. We're using the Creator 1080p60 preset. First up is raw CPU power. Let's see how long this one takes. 3 minutes and 10 seconds. So again, comparing to the 3600X, we are 26 seconds faster. And with the 5600 non-X, 3 seconds slower. And with the last 5600X test, 6 seconds slower. Now for the test we've all been waiting for. GPU power. 54 seconds. That's interesting, that's the exact same time as the GTX 1660 Ti. And the last time we tested a 3060 Ti, the exact same model with an i5-11600KF, we're actually 2 seconds slower. Well, it's kind of interesting. Before we go on to the gaming tests, I should mention that I enabled resizable bar in the system BIOS and I also set the RAM speeds to 3600 MHz just for optimal performance and I also used MSI Afterburner to undervolt the GPU and this actually led to a pretty nice decrease in temperatures and nice 
extra boost in performance. If you want to learn how to do that, there's an easy guide by I'm Watering PSUs. Go check out his channel for some good tips. Shout out to this guy. That's about all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you're using a setup like this in 2024, going into 2025, definitely let us know. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.